The 2018 season was history in the making for the Aggie men's tennis team. A season filled with passion, grit, and perseverance that resulted in the best finish in school history. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Led by Texas Tennis Hall of Fame coach Steve Denton and assistant coaches Kevin O'Shea and Rick Myers, the Maroon and White opened the 2018 season in national spotlight ranked seventh in the country. As the month of January marked a new year, it also marked the beginning of a new season. After topping Arizona State 6-1 on the road, the Aggie men's tennis team came home to the George P. Mitchell Tennis Center to host LSU, Cal Poly, and Georgia State as part of the ITA kickoff weekend. With 4-0 sweeps against LSU and Cal Poly, the Maroon and White secured a spot in the ITA national team indoor championships held later on in Seattle, Washington. The Aggies kicked off a month of road matches with a 7-0 win over Tulsa before suffering their first loss of the season in a top-10 showdown against number 2 Ohio State. The Aggies bounced back quickly in a thrilling 4-3 win against number 24 Texas Tech in Houston. The road tour continued as the six-ranked Aggies then traveled to Seattle, Washington for the ITA National Team Indoor Championships where they claimed big wins over 11th-ranked Florida and 3rd-ranked North Carolina. After dropping a decision to Oklahoma at the USTA National Campus in Orlando, Texas A&M remained on the road as they opened SEC play with three straight road matches. The Aggies tallied wins against Ole Miss, Arkansas, and number 21, Georgia. It was home sweet home for the Aggies as they returned back to Aggieland for the first time in over a month to host number 18, Notre Dame, on March 15th. It was Jordi Arcanada, Carlos Aguilar, and A.J. Catanzariti that propelled Texas A&M to a 5-2 win over the Fighting Irish. The Aggies shut out LSU 7-0 in their SEC home opener before falling to TCU the following week and finishing non-conference play with an 8-4 record. Texas A&M bounced back in SEC play with victories over 25th ranked Tennessee and Alabama. Then it was back on the road one last time for the regular season as they traveled to number 22 Vanderbilt and 23 Kentucky, claiming back-to-back 4-3 -back wins. With the perfect 8-0 conference record and four matches remaining in the regular season, the Aggies geared up to host number 9 Florida, South Carolina, number 7 Mississippi State, and Auburn. After claiming back-to-back 6-1 victories over the Gators and Gamecocks, it would be a matchup against a 7th-ranked Mississippi State squad where the Aggies would buy for a second straight SEC championship. The Bulldogs came out strong, claiming the doubles point to take the early one to nothing lead. In singles play, Jordi Arcanado would get the Aggies on the board with a 6-2, 6-2 win on court three to even the match at one all. Yeah! Yeah, let's go! After falling behind 2-1, Val Bashara would quickly tie the match back up at 2-2, picking up a 6-4, 6-2 win on court four. Senior Arthur Rindignish's 7-6-6-3 win on court two would give the Aggies their first lead of the match, 3-2, and then leave them looking for just one more point to clinch the championship. All eyes 
eyes turned to court five in Carlos Aguilar as he would claim a hard-fought 6-4, 3-6, 6-3 win to help the Aggies secure their third overall and second straight SEC title. No! The maroon and white closed out the regular season with a 4-3 win against Auburn on senior day. It was a memorable match for seniors Jordi Arcanada, A.J. Catanzariti, and Arthur Rindernish as Texas A&M logged a perfect 12-0 record in SEC play. It was the first time since 2001 that the Aggie men's tennis team recorded an undefeated conference season. They finished the regular season with a 20-4 overall record. Tuscaloosa, Alabama was where Texas A&M shifted their focus to the SEC tournament. Claiming the number one seed in the tournament, the Aggies swept 18th ranked Georgia and 19th ranked Tennessee to set up a rematch with Mississippi State for the SEC tournament championship. But this time, the odds were in favor of the Bulldogs as Texas A&M would fall 4-3 against Mississippi State in the title match. Earning the fifth seed in the NCAA tournament, the Aggies were selected as a host site for the first and second rounds. After claiming a 4-0 shutout victory against Lamar, Texas A&M matched up with rival number 18, Baylor, in the second round. Against the Bears, the Aggies claimed the doubles point along with singles wins from the cousin duo of Val Vachereau and Arthur Rindernish. Jordi Arcanada's 7-6-6-4 win on court three gave Texas A&M the 4-1 win, advancing them to the round of 16, their 14th trip in program history. Texas A&M continued postseason play as they traveled to Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It was another rematch as the Aggies prepared to take on the Alabama Crimson Tide in the round of 16. It was a fitting day for a matchup against the Tide as inclement weather moved the match to the indoor facility. The Maroon and White clinched the doubles point to take a 1-0 lead, then quickly claimed three singles wins to get the 4-0 victory over Alabama, advancing them to their third NCAA quarterfinal in program history. In the quarterfinals, Texas A&M found themselves up against another familiar foe, Florida. As the sun came out for this matchup against the Sunshine State, the Aggies came out hot, claiming a tight doubles point with wins from Patrick Kipson and Val Vachero on court three, and Jordi Arcanada and Carlos Aguilar on court one. Aguilar and Arcanada would keep the momentum going for the Aggies, from doubles to singles, as Aguilar picked up a 6-2, 6-3 win, and Arcanada picked up a 6-3, 6-4 win to put the Aggies up 3-0, and just one win away from advancing to the NCAA semifinals. The Gators would not go quietly, though, as they fought back to tie it up 3-3 with one court remaining. All eyes were on senior Arthur Rindernish as he found himself in a position to send the Maroon and White to their first ever Final Four. In an emotional 5-7, 7-5, 6-2 win on court two, the senior prevailed and Texas A&M found themselves in the NCAA semifinals for the first time in school history. The Aggies have much to be proud of as they reflect back on the 2018 season. A 26-6 overall record, another SEC championship, and their first ever trip to the NCAA semifinals, all combined to make up one of the best seasons in the history of Texas A&M men's tennis. In addition, the Aggies led the nation in All-American selections with five players earning the honor. Senior Jordi Arcanada and freshman Carlos Aguilar achieved All-American status in doubles, while freshman Patrick Kipson, senior Arthur Rindernish, and sophomore Val Vachero earned All-American status in singles. As Texas A&M say goodbye to their winningest senior class in program history, the three seniors can feel certain in leaving the program in Aggieland better than they have found it before.
The future is bright as they now turn their attention to the 2019 season. They now look to new faces and new talent to continue their run as one of the elite programs in collegiate tennis. So it's true when they say, as one chapter ends, another one begins. Go! 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 Go!